Megan Marco says she's not to blame for breakdown of relationship with Thomas Marco. Megan Marco has blamed the breakdown of her relationship with her father Thomas Marco on the tabloid media and sensational new court documents. The Duchess of Sussex is suing Associated Newspaper, publisher of the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online, over articles which featured parts of a private and confidential letter to her estranged father. In New Court Pages, papers, Megan said she and Mr. Marco had a very close father-daughter relationship through our childhood and remained close until she was targeted three years ago by intrusive UK tabloid media. The former actress also denies claims she was not provided financial support for her father. In the court documents, Megan lawyers say it has never been denied that the claimant's father supported her through our childhood and as a young adult. The babies claim the ex suit star began making voluntary financial contributions to her father once she started earning to give her personal financial support. The document said the claimant's father gave occasional financial support to the claimant as just as she provided reciprocal financial support to him once she began earning. The papers claim Megan had provided substantial financial support to her father from January 2014 until the cat contact in May 2018. Prince Harry's wife only found out friends had spoken anonymously to a U.S. magazine with one revealing details of the letter from Megan to her father. After the article was published in February 2019, according to the court document, she is discovered one friend has spoken to people during her extravagant New York baby shower, the papers claim. The document submitted to the High Court state, the claimant relies friends A, B, and C have given anonymous interviews to People magazine upon learning that the article had been published. A belief that they had been involved was confirmed during the phone calls via FaceTime on the day of publication in the following day. The claimant learned friend D was one of the anonymous sources for the People magazine article on or around February 19, 2019, when the two of them met in person. She subsequently learned of friend E's involvement a few days later during a celebration with friends to mark the forthcoming birth of her son. This discussion also took place in person. All of these conversations took place post-publication. The papers were in response to requests from Associated Newspapers for further information. Lawyers acting for Associated Newspapers have argued that her five friends brought her letter into the public domain when it was referred to for the first time in their magazine interview. They insist Mr. Marco reviewed the letter to correct the false impression Megan's friends had given about his actions in their interview. The 38 euro is seeking damages which she has said would be donated to an anti-bullying charity from Associated Newspapers for alleged misuse of private information, copyrights, infringement and breach of the Data Protection Act. Associated Newspaper wholly de denies the allegations, particularly the claim that the letter was edited in any way that changed its meaning, and says it will hotly contest the case. Earlier this month, Megan applied to the High Court to stop Associated Newspapers from naming her five friends, but a spokesman for the Mail on Sunday said the paper had no intention of de identifying the friends, but the question of their non anonymity should be considered by the court. Megan is living in Los Angeles with Harry and their one-year-old son, Aki, after quitting royal duties earlier this year.